Hello and welcome back to Growl and Model Painting. Today, episode 2 of my new series, Become a Better Hobbyist. This episode is about preparation of your models. So this includes removing your models from the sprues without damaging them. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to tidy the models up. So using a knife to remove any sprue marks, um, removing any mow lines with a scraping tool. And I'm going to show you any sort of drilling out barrels, things like that, little extras and then I'm going to glue them all together and show you a efficient way to do that. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is remove these pieces from the sprue. I'm going to use these Citadel clippers, really nice for removing the pieces, really sharp. Now, best thing to do when you're removing the pieces from the sprue is to cut slightly away from the model with these straight ends of the clippers here facing towards the model. So that's where it's going to cut. So we want to get in there and we don't want it to be too close to the model, just close enough to snip, it, snip off that excess bit of plastic there. And on that one. So this is going to take the piece from the sprue with minimal damage to the piece. And any damage that we do do, which we shouldn't, we can clean up later with a knife. So I'm just going to finish off getting the pieces we need, remove them from the sprue. Alright, so I've removed all these pieces from the sprue, I've selected a base here for it. So now, we need to do a bit of cleaning up. So, where we've removed the model from the sprue, we've got all these kind of sprue markings. To get rid of these, we're going to use a hobby knife. Now, this is just a cheap Stanley knife. Um, as hobby knives can be quite expensive and blades also quite expensive. So, it's good to just use a cheap knife and you can replace the blades at any point. So, Safety with the knives always cut away from you. So in this direction Always going to cut away from ourselves just to make sure we don't harm Also, if you cut say I'm cutting towards myself and I really push it too hard and I slip you could slice your finger So always cut away from yourself and it's not always advisable to put your finger in front of the knife but it really does help stability when cutting such a small little object like this. So I'm, I'll, I like to cut away like this. Just get the smooth area. This area doesn't matter too much because the body's gonna get glued on top here. So that's fine for now. So I'm just gonna work on this leg area for now. Um, you'll slowly start to learn where the sprue markings are on these models. So on this one, we've got obviously the one on the top there and the, on the insides of the legs. So we need to get rid of these and this can be quite awkward. So if you get the knife in and always cut away and just get rid of that marking. I'll show you on another piece just so you can um, see a bit better. So on this body piece here, just cut this away here. Doesn't matter if you're left with a bit of white plastic there because as long as it's smooth. And on this side too. So that piece there took two seconds to do. Just need to repeat that all over the model. Just getting rid of all these little sprue markings with the knife. Alright, so now that I've got rid of all these sprue markings, we need to focus on the molar lines next. So, I'm going to use this scraping tool. These heads are replaceable. Um, I've went through this kind of piece of equipment in the first video, so if you haven't seen the first video, uh, just go back and watch that. It's full of useful information for all the equipment and tools that you'll need. So, molar lines are, if you don't know what they are, they're here. Um, what will usually happen is they'll run in a straight line all the way down the model. It's basically where the models came out of the mould that they used. So this line here, it'll continue all the way around. And you can just follow it all the way down the model. And just, these will show up a lot when it's painted, so we need to get rid of them first now. So, the way to do this is, again, always try to screw it away from yourself. Um, get the sharp edge of your tool and just apply some force, not too much because you don't want to damage the model. In the idea is you just scrape it over the surface of the model itself and by doing this we can remove these lines 
um, like that, that actually just come up really easy to remove. Um, a lot of people skip this step um, and it can have some bad outcomes if you don't do it properly or you don't take the time to do it and um, get all your mole lines. So same as the spoo lines, the more you do this, the more you learn where they are in the model and you know where to look. So you won't miss any the more you do it. It just comes with experience. Um, I'll do it on another piece so you can um, see. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this mole line on each glove here. So, the importance of removing these mole lines is it doesn't really matter how good of a paint you are. You could do a fantastic paint job on a model. Yeah, if it's covered in mole lines, people are going to notice it and they're going to say, you know, you, you, it's covered in mole lines. It does really ruin the look of a model. You know, it, I always think part of a brilliant model is the preparation. Without good preparation, um, your model won't look as good as it can do. And it, it isn't actually much effort to just sit and remove these lines. It would be quite therapeutic just to sit and tidy up model. I quite enjoy it. Um, so I'll just carry on removing these more lines so it's not too boring for you and we'll skip ahead to the next step. Right, so now we're finished removing the more lines, we're going to do one last step before assembly. So I've clamped these bull pistol into a, a little clamp here um, and I'm going to use this hobby drill which is just a hand operated drill. Um, you can pick these up, at, uh, these are both Citadel so any games workshop. Um, in, the importance is getting the, the drill bit like this right in the centre where you want the hole to be. You don't want an off centre hole in your, in your bolt pistol. And then just carefully make a little tester hole just to make sure it's in the middle. And when you're confident that it's definitely in the centre of the bolt pistol, start to apply a bit more pressure, not too much though, and just drill down. You don't need to go too far, just, just so you go into the going and you can hopefully see that um, the hole is pretty much perfectly in the centre there. You haven't went too deep, you don't want to do any damage to the model and come out the other end or anything like that. So now we've done that we can start assembly. Okay so now we've done everything, we're going to start assembling the model. So what I like to do first is stick the legs to the base and then let that set while we're finishing off the rest of the model. So um, plastic glue, that's plastic. Just want tiny, tiny little drops on the feet like that. Try not to get the glue on actual parts of the model that you're going to be painting because it it does tend to like ruin the plastic a little bit as it melts it. Now uh, plastic glue melts plastic to bond it with what it's attached to. So it should only take about five minutes for this to get a temporary setting. So it should be pretty much stuck within five minutes, but it won't be completely set. So what I like to do is I like let this set onto the base while assembling the rest of the model and then the rest of the model can just get stuck on top. So I'll just do that now and we'll speed it up for you so it's not too boring. So there we have a finished, fully assembled um, corn berserker, free of all the mole lines and horrible sprue markings. Um, it's been properly tidied up and it's ready for painting. So join us in the next episode where hopefully we'll be showing you how to thin paint properly before you actually get to start painting. So using um, paint thinners, uh, water tension breakers, things like that. We'll show you some really good tips on thinning paint. And I, I hope you've enjoyed this episode um, on how to prepare models for painting. 
So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any episodes in the series, um, especially the next one because it's going to be it's a really important one, Thin and Paint. So um, as a, once again, thanks for watching and like and subscribe.